Critical limb ischemia, a severe form of PAD, may lead to foot ulcers and leg pain, even at rest. A minimally invasive procedure to treat critical limb ischemia may be available from your interventional radiology doctor. Your doctor begins by inserting a guide wire into the femoral artery in your thigh. Sometimes the leg opposite the side of the symptoms is used for initial access. A tapered sheath is then inserted over a wire to provide easy access into your blood vessels for the small tools required to perform the procedure. The wire is then advanced to the area of blockage and your doctor will cross the blockage with the wire and a catheter. Once the wire has successfully crossed the blockage, a deflated balloon is advanced over the wire to the site of the artery occlusion. When the balloon is inflated, it opens the blocked artery and restores blood flow. The doctor collapses the balloon and removes it completely. Sometimes, if the artery remains partially blocked, a stent or metal scaffold is used to keep the artery open. In its collapsed form, the stent is loaded onto a catheter that is then inserted over the wire to the site of the artery blockage. The stent is then opened, detaching from the catheter and allowing the catheter to be removed, leaving behind the open stent within the artery. The stent will help prevent the blockage from reoccurring. For longer artery blockages, several stents may be required. A new variation of this procedure has been developed for more complicated artery blockages. The blocked blood vessel is approached from both the femoral artery above and from the foot or ankle below. Wires and catheters are advanced to the blocked artery from both directions until the blockage is crossed either from above or below. Once the blockage is crossed from either above or below, the procedure is completed as usual. The doctor can then inflate an angioplasty balloon and stent, if needed, to reopen the artery. Once the artery is satisfactorily opened, all the tools such as wires, catheters, and sheaths are then removed. The femoral artery access in the thigh is sealed and the patient can usually go home within four to six hours. At the end of a successful procedure, it is important to decrease your risks for future blockages by committing to making lifestyle changes, including quitting smoking, taking prescribed medications, and exercising.